Hey y'all, just wanted to say hey, welcome you to my new channel, A Hunt to Remember Outdoors. Um, before we get started, I just wanted to know a little bit about me. Um, I'm 53, I've been a self-employed construction contractor for most of my career. Um, I'm a certified scuba instructor, tech diver certified to 250 feet tattoo artist. Do a lot of things really. But so I've been hunting and fishing, playing out in the woods, Pacific Northwest really for all my life, as far as I can really remember. And uh, when semi retirement became an option, I guess, um, taxidermy was kind of I have, sorry, I got a little snitch in my nose. Uh, taxidermy was kind of where I was wanting to head. And so uh, did a little research, found a couple of schools, packed up my bags and my RV, took off. Uh, around over and over, I mean, it wasn't a year, but I spent, you know, a good chunk of a year um, back and forth learning different techniques and different things. And so... Um, that being said, I'm back now, um, this is what I got, this is what I'm doing. So, I got some extra time on my hands, I'm out playing in the woods a little more, just kind of enjoying life a little bit more. So, while I'm out there, I'm just kind of thinking, man, you know, could probably run a few traps, get a little extra on the side, give me some specimens for mounting. Um, as well as killing me a couple of them damn yotes. So, um, that's kind of where we're at. And that's what the plan is. We're going to do a little bit of videoing of it. And see if we can't uh, broadcast it out to you guys and see what you guys think. Um, see where it goes. Maybe you guys will hit your point. It's like, hey, I knew him when, when he was just on YouTube. But... Um, I mean, hey, look at that, Dr. Pimple Popper, really? I mean, come on, the toe, bro? I, I think, you know, anybody that does something can be something anymore, so I won't go there, but. So anyways, what to expect from my channel is uh, we're going to be doing hunting, fishing, trapping, having just fun in the woods, wheeling, maybe down in the sand, doing different stuff. Um, we'll hunt private land, public land, we'll trap them both, we'll have guided and unguided, uh, pretty much everything on that realm. Um, we're going to do some instructional videos, trapping stuff, um, the different traps, where to set them, why to set them, how to set them, um, modifications on traps we'll do some so prep and maintenance how to store them for the year how to keep them up how to go with um, different techniques different trips you know people do it all different i'm sure i won't be oh whoa, whoa, whoa you need to do it this way well this is what i'm doing and i understand that there's you know many different ways to skin a cat, but this is how I'm going to skin it, so. Um, traps, da, da, da. okay. So, hunting, we're going to do some hunting. I got some buddies that are avid elk hunters, bugle fools. Um, we're going to see if I can't get them in to do some bugling techniques, some trips, tips, um, maybe even talk them into a trip or you know, see if we can't go along and video one of their hunts. Um, we're going to do tracking. Um, I like to pattern um, when I'm hunting and when I'm out in the woods. Um, takes a little bit of time, but in time, a few years actually. Even in, and if you go back to the same area and over and over again, old, old marks are the same. It's, it's, it's habit 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 so if you can get the habit down 
it makes it a whole lot easier. And so what I do is I log every time I see a scrape, um, bedded areas, uh, rubs, major crossings, such like that. And I kind of mark them as such. And then that way um, I use Hunt on X or on X Hunt Maps. Um, and so when I put it to the computer and I lay it all out on my screen, it really starts to show a pattern. And I mean, before I had that, I mean, I did the same thing, but it never really, it never really seemed dominantly apparent of what was going on until I started putting it all together, marked on, on the GPS. And then that way you can see the cracks and the crevices and the, you know, all the topographical stuff. And you really start to see a pattern start. And so same with fur bearers, uh, elk, deer, everything. I mean, there are creatures to have it. Us, we're creatures of habit. So um, I really like to try to pattern, pattern habits, um, key, key thing. Um, like you say, we'll do some bugling. I got buddies, we do some turkey hunting. A couple guys that are awesome with the turkey calls, um, such. So we'll do that, we'll do some fishing. Fishing is a little off because, in, you know, I mean, we're so much different to a point um, in the Pacific Northwest versus the Midwest versus back east. We all have such a different variety of species of fish. But, you know, hey, I love seeing you guys back east, you know, latching into some big old gar. Um, and I'm sure you guys like watching us slap up a nice silver steelhead or salmon. So we'll do a little bit of that. We'll do some guided trips, some, some drip trips, some drip trips, and uh, stuff like that. So kind of get a little bit of that in. Um, we'll do some skinning and fleshing. Um, being a taxidermist, I do things a little bit differently. <laughs> um, if if I'm one to mount it, um, you know, number one, you're yeah, not going to cut his feet off. And so, um, that being said as well, you know, I mean, there's, it, 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 it's a little more precise, not quite just a gut rip and such. Actually, it's better to do a dorsal. And so we'll go over all those type of things. We'll go over fleshing, um, uh, a couple things I pad my my fleshing beam, um, so not super, but a little bit to absorb, just to make it a little smoother. And we'll go over those things. Um, we'll go over tanning and, and salting and tanning and prepping and such. I see a lot of guys want to know how to tan. We'll do a couple of tans. Um, We'll even go into some taxidermy projects, you know what I mean? We'll do, a, we'll do a raccoon, maybe a coyote or something, get a couple of things in like that. So if those type of things are starting to, you know what I mean, if they, if they kind of pique your interests, uh, hit the like and subscribe button. We'd love to have you along for the ride. Again, like I say, you know, let's make this thing big. Let's turn it into something, you know. Jeff? I'm coming for your spot. Uh, just kidding. Uh, but so anyways, um, so hit the like and subscribe button. Um, but just remember this, man. A hunt lasts a month or two, maybe. Uh, memory lasts forever, okay? Kick a kid off a video game. Get him out into the woods hunting, fishing, trapping, doing something. Uh, make some memories, man. That being said, man, love y'all. Peace out and uh, have a great night. I'll talk to you guys soon.